Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k. Uh, we are looking at Rogue Trader and it is as always a blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. As a matter of fact, harder than unfair difficulty. We had a couple of really, really good uh, fights against uh, the um, word bearers, I think. Chaos is striking again, but Enemies we're not letting it happen. Power. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to try to stop all of uh, that My by something. by Since killing the, the enemy's chaos a caster, and we got our prime team for that. Cast your eye there. We got our prime team for that and so far I must say I am absolutely stoked with uh, the quality of uh, their performance. We haven't really lost a single fight nor did we come even close to losing one. Super strong. Whenever where uh, targets three or more enemies with one attack, those targets suffer int bonus uh, amount of uh, armor minus int bonus. Okay, uh, times uh, targeted enemies armor until the end of combat. That's actually pretty damn good uh, for Pascal. As much as I like his other skills, but this one here is super good because it lets us deal with a lot of armor when we're uh, fighting AoE. Unfortunately, he oftentimes will not be fast enough to even pull something off. Uh, oftentimes, the others are already done with killing the enemies before Pascal has time to get his first action. Which is a bit kind of the uh, challenge with uh, this game. Uh, it feels like rocket attack, where you're trying to alpha strike the enemy just so unbelievably fast. Good, to the main tech sanctum, and here we are dealing with Uri on the Cruel. That is the guy that we're looking for. Question of the day is. I think we came in here hard to remember if not all of uh, the map is revealed but I think we're on the right track certainly not going to turn around let's go to the terror room uh, which I think is where the main uh, fight is going to happen let's go I'll rip your liver out and give it to the wind spirit to eat well, it seems that the Space Wolves have already engaged. Well, time for us to clear this up. Torvald has failed. And where would could we position ourselves? I think Remember, just innocence proves nothing. Moving a little bit and uh, out would not be bad. You're all on the cruel. My victory was predestined. For you were outnumbered. You are a handful of fools who worship a dead fallacy. I have the great four on my side. May they reveal the blood that spills from the veins of the heathens. <laughs> That is heresy at its finest. Uh, you're late, Saikin, says Konrad Voigtvier. Your allies have fallen. Perhaps it's time to admit your defeat. If 
you do, I promise. No, I won't promise you anything. Whatever you choose, you will choose a slow and excruciating death. The wolves um, left by Uralan's blows are dire, but the Emperor's angels are known for their hardiness. We've arrived just in time to sto stop the profane sorcerer from finishing them off. Death to the heretics. A sacrifice for the faithful. Alright. Uralon, 2,100 hit points. Has a lot of stuff here. Summons a demon, voice of command. On Chaos Space Marines get an additional turn. Profane zeal. Good. Its damage increases uh, when he takes damage. Eye of Oblivion. And pretty nice stats. I mean, I wish I, we had those stats. Uh, that is not bad. Okay, Heinrichs, my man. Stands here. Um, Ulfar gets into position. I think we could actually allow ourselves to go there. Pascal stands close by and Cassia stands by as well. Uh, start the battle. Saigon moves here. No, if he moves there, he can barely reach Heinrichs. If he moves here, he could reach him. He's also pretty close to the purifier. Alright, not good. Um, I wonder if this time we're just gonna go with Pascal instead. Um, All right, Pascal brings it down. And for that... Everybody here gets Machine Spirit Communion. I like it. Um... Good, we're uh, starting to hit that guy here. Fabulous. I wonder... Um, I think we're just going to double the bonus uh, there, uh, which means everybody here will need uh, uh, will take, if I'm not mistaken, 25% uh, more damage. That's good. Well done, Pascal. All far takes the first turn. Slightly to here. Let's go. Very good hits. I like what I'm seeing. One tag freeze down. Voigtvier needs to die, but he will 
A little bit later. Let's get one more of the tech priests down. We're not quite there yet, but we are very, very close. Uh, and we have a couple more uh, shots lined up. Times a miss. Give this task to someone lesser. A five per, uh, tw uh, ninety-five percent um, potential hit that uh, all four missed. That's really unfortunate, man. But we can always move over. I think for now what we're going to do is move to here. Just hit this guy for a few more uh, points of damage. And we're good. Pulling all of these guys together, or not, because apparently no one gets affected lately. I think we also need to work on the veil. Step aside. The navigator is coming. All right, Saiken gets a couple of extra hit points uh, there. That would unfortunately hit our Space Wolf comrade. Speaking about which, uh, I think we're doing this here. We'll give him a turn in a second. Uh, he's already buffed up, so that's good. There we go. Uh, go, Urlan the Cruel. Ulfar continues. And listen, we're moving here. I want to make sure. Another miss. Alright, I was about to say that is highly unlikely. Void Veer, my friend. <laughs> Kunrad, who just went down like a little bitch? Huh? Was that you? And whilst we're at it, Uralorn uh, isn't doing super hot either. That's a shameful display, guys. <laughs> Fabulous, love it. Um, can't hit Kunrad, so that's a bit of a shame. But we can move to here and still kick him. A little bit of a hundred sixty point uh, points damage. Hit in the balls. I don't like that. Uh, that was a good turn. Matter of fact, I stand corrected. That was an absolute excellent uh, turn. Isn't this a job 
for the serfs? Help me, Lord Captain! Held my gaze. All right. Um... Do a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of this, and we're knee deep in the Vale degradation territory. Fabulous, as they say. Argenta gets a buff, I like that. Uh, this guy here gets a debuff, I like that as well. And we're buffing ourselves, and then this could be a clutch 1,400 points of damage. There are only Space Marines left, Chaos Space Marines, so let's go, boys. Let's go. Before we do that, uh, how about we're buffing ourselves further, and now it's 1,600. That's what I wanted to see. Whoosh. <laughs> okay, well, granted, everybody got pushed back. That's a bit of a double whammy. But, but, everybody also um, is protected. Very good, let's go. Pasca moves up, everybody begins to move up. Wolpara is trying to hit Saiken, but no, 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 no. Saiken has way too many buffs on him at this point. Finally, Heinrich can enter the party. But of course, Lord Captain. Uh, I'm not going to use a lot of... a lot of Psy abilities, because... That appears dangerous at this point in time. The one that I am going to use is Warp Speed, because I believe Let's there is a bonus to it. I want to object to it. Does Ulfa have Warp Speed? Oh, Ulfur is down. I see. He has broken ribs. Uh, okay, not cool. In which case, Saiken gets the warp speed. We're charging the Space Marine. The Emperor is on our side. Let's see. Now is he moving to here? And we're giving ourselves a little bit more of a buff. Um, these two seem to be out of action, which means only one world bearer is left. What do we have available? New. No. And no. Well. Cassia really die? No, that cannot be. We do have an item on her that prevents her from uh, from uh, dying. Uh, but okay, so might have messed uh, it up a little bit. Anyways, let's get this guy down. Only a hundred. That is unfortunate. can receive an extra action. Are you telling me Heinrich is the only one? Okay, well, in that case... One step closer. Heinrich's my man. I will Here's your extra action.
Iron Rings begins to move over there. We're sprinting. Extra hit points. And it's pretty much that. Uh, we're going to find a good way of dealing with the rest soon. Pascal Argenta are moving up. That's good. Heinrichs. Charge up. I like that. Uh, we need more versatili uh, versatility, so I would say we're starting with that. An AoE attack. Good hit. And then continuing with a few normal attacks. I wish we had a little bit more uh, momentum because then this here would hurt really, really bad. But he's getting there. As you can see, Heinrich slowly but surely starts hitting. It's 150 per hit. He has a couple of hits, so that's not too bad. We're Vera almost down. Heinrichs dodges every single attack. Uh, Ural and the Cruel, Brother Twyla, the hour was promised uh, to you has come. The Edge of Daybreak grants you the honor of serving as his weapon. Be awed by your high destiny. Uh, what? Now? But I, I'm not ready. It's not what you promised. You said I would reign. Well, Conrad Voidveer, you indeed. Our donut. Ways change, Brother Twilight, and nothing lasts at our Lord's hand. But you will reign indeed as a vessel for your master. The blade cuts uh, Voidveer's uh, void coat and chest open, sinking deep into his flesh and finding the way to his heart. The glyph carved uh, into uh, his skin by the ruthless mentor begins to glow bright and you can see clearly through the cloth. Uh, that is a familiar uh, sword. Poor God. Conrad Theodora despises you. Your no new master um, butchered you like a goat. I hate you. Takes Vokvir colossal effort to force these final hateful words through the sliced wind pipe. Oh, look at you! A full fledged chaos demon! Precious warp engines uh, seep into the body, um, causing it to glow and flicker. With a mad cry of pain and emulation, Kunrad Voigtvir ceases to exist, and a mighty winged figure uh, rises from his bloody remains. Edge of daybreak. I witness you. Your lawn musters enough strength for a faint, vengeful smile. Enter the forlorn halls of reality and claim them. I gave all I had in your name. Hail the truth. His body goes limp, his face forever retained a wicked expression of triumph. <laughs> the truth will not falter. My imprisonment ends, I made manifest. Rejoice, mortal. Witness, for I have come to lord over you. The demon lets out a horse. A carring laugh. I told you that I would welcome my return to reality. Henrik's uh, face twists uh, for a moment. He clutches to his chest as if he's having a heart attack, but moments later he straightens and glares at the demon with grim determination. 
All right, I shall cast you back to your unholy warp. You cannot fathom how pathetic and foolish your threats sound. Fleeting creature, I am an eternal mystery, while you are an evanescent spark. Fade away. All right, uh, Saiken, how about we're positioning you uh, sort of over here? Cassia there. Argenta here. Ulfa there. Pascal here. And Heinrichs is good where he's at. Starting the battle. As always, a Lord Saiken is the first one to move. Okay. Cool. Um, let's start. Defensive. Um, A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. We're at the threshold where it starts becoming a bit more problematic. A little bit of that for Saiken, and we got a screamer as an addition, but that's okay. We got this. But of course, Lord Captain. For the throne of glory. We got this, we got this, uh, we good. Hold farm, take this and that, and uh, please, if you would do, give us uh, the honor. First hit, I like that. We're starting with this here. A couple of devastating attacks, I like that as well. Continuing to hit the screamer. Okay, well, still continuing with a couple of hits, we're at 8. Enemies do have a lot of stats it seems, yeah, 97, that thing has massive stats, but we're okay, uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be too concerned about what I'm seeing. How many hit points? Oh, 12,500. Maybe it's a good time to be a bit concerned. But on the contrary, that was 1,600 points of damage, or 1,700 points of damage, which I think is amongst the most uh, that Cassia has dealt ever. A little bit of this, and definitely a little bit of that here. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Me? If you insist, Lord Captain.
Good, hitting both of them. Just to debuff them a little bit more. And it seems to me that we have done most of what we could. Which brings us to this buff here. And then that, and then that. And we gotta be careful because more is not good. Heinrichs. We're definitely taking this and we're hitting for another thousand points of damage. Well done, uh, Saikin. Good job. I like what I'm seeing. We first are going to move here. Prayer for everyone. I'll do it. Then moving back into the range of Pasco. Uh, and I wonder. It's Cassia next. Cassia can give a full turn to Ulfar. we going to build enough momentum potentially not but it would be wasted we're so high on momentum I'm going to use it uh, regardless should have shot first Still getting a couple of hits. I refuse. I will not. All right, bonus grenade just uh, for good measure, and I think Argenta five stacks isn't super hot, but it's okay. I need to repair the weave, um, so that's two points gone. Very good, that's helpful. Isn't this a job Free attack here. I think Wolfar actually should take uh, that next turn first. I am a navigator, not a servitor. I hunger for battle. <laughs> it's interesting how he still can hit own guy <sighs> Don't dishonor the wolf with such tasks. do we have something that gives movement no. We're out of ammunition. I see. Well, good that we do have another bolter. And here we go. Not bad. I mean, decent damage. If I 
We're taking again. And finally, Pasco. All right. So, moving Pasco to here. Putting that up. Super strong zone. Reducing his damage. Um, increasing the damage that he is taking. Two hundred um, points of damage, and uh, we're giving machine communion on to every uh, body. That's good. Uh oh, should have done. Shouldn't have done that. Hmm. Lots of manifestations. Not a surprise, to be fair. Focus, Van Kellogg's. Focus. And we are in full, uh, full Vale territory. So, got to be really careful now. Let's Heinrichs buffs himself so that he can start moving up. Naturally. Begins to try to hit. Mm. Still waiting for him to use Sword of Faith once. Uh, this is okay damage, but not great damage. Still can't continue to move. That's unfortunate. Alright, listen. Here's a hit. Nope. Uh, but we can give me metabolic overcharge. But we're at Veil maximum. I don't want more stuff to happen. So answer is rather play it safe uh, than be sorry. <laughs> That's a perfect opener. Moves to here. More shots. And let's go, baby. Okay, fantastic. Some of the horrors are gone already. We're up to 12 uh, stacks, which is good. Second so moves over here. can help Argenta and we should do that that plus that plus that and this plus that and Argenta is ready to rock and roll somewhat move a little bit closer somehow ok 
Okay, just don't want to stand in the uh, uh, see wolf or stand in our way. All right, let's just get that down. Oh, that would have been such a good hit. Yeah, unfortunate. Only 300 points? What's wrong? What is wrong? Second dealing, uh, having some debuff? No. Okay, that's a thousand. It seems more like it. Good, we have enough for the sword of Heinrichs. And so far we're playing it safe. I just need to control uh, that stupid amount of um, of veil degradation. Moves to here. I'll do it. Free reload. Um, I think we're just going to kill both of you. There we go. I'll do it. Again, free reload. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. <laughs> well, that didn't work out uh, just as well. Ah, he's in a protective bubble. I see how it is. I see how it is. Moving to here. We have a couple of things that we need to do. For starters, mend reality. That's the most important one. Then afterwards. Give all for a turn. moves to here hmm, that's not cool how c how comes that we cannot move any further Why can't we not move any further? I do understand why we do have a hard time hitting any of these, but I do not understand why this here is not a passable terrain for us. I don't like what I'm seeing. It seems we're artificially disallowed uh, to uh, to hit these creatures. Give me strength. 
Good point of curiosity, of course, didn't work at all. That's so disappointing. Um, let's try to get this guy out of there. Oh, finally. Thank the Emperor. All far. I think you do have a bone to pick with that guy. A bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Fantastic. Alright, Pascal. Best buddy Pascal moves up. Helps Argenta to very much stay alive. Helps with that uh, zone in particular. Uh, just shoots back there. <laughs> Double kill. Lovely. Alright. Um, yeah, look, I mean... We could very much give uh, use that or wait for Heinrichs so that he can finally get his demon sword and what better opportunity than this fight would exist for a demon sword, right? Right? Fantastic. Let's see. There's our sword. The sword of the Emperor. For starters, let's increase our Psi rating. Everyone step aside. Okay. Hmm. For the throne's glory. All right, did that work? Yes, no, maybe? Heinrichs? Alas, no. More trouble. It cannot be used again this turn? That is Let's disappointing, man. Not section to do this. I won't do that. That is disappointing. Um... No. Alright, Argenta got a buff. We need to play it a bit careful. I don't want to overdo it. Um, can't charge in. We're one, one step too far away from actually hitting this guy. And that's okay. We're Gucci. 
All far, we still got uh, enough options to get that uh, guy down. Uh, let's start with this. And reloading. That and that. And here we go. Mmm, fantastic. Moves to here. Reloads again. And I hate that these uh, little demons have such a great, um, such a great evasion. Well, in that case, Kunrad, it'll be you who's going to suffer because we're building up uh, stacks for more damage. Should have used that uh, Bolger here, uh, which had a much higher rate of fire. That would have given us more damage. Little improvement potentials here and there. Amidst the carnage, I find purpose. I need no guidance. I will Good. Try. Starting for ourselves, hitting that horror. Immediately killing it. Fabulous. And again, we can't, I cannot uh, sprint anywhere. And we're good. Lots of manifestations, but they are not dangerous. That big thing, however, could be dangerous. Up. That and that, and uh, weakening strike, reload, and Kunrat. Eat hot bolters. Reloads, unfortunately, are not free, but that was not too bad. Agenda gets another turn. As the Emperor commands, I act. And we're continuing with another volley of bolts. That's good. That was very good. Good. Taking a couple of extra shots. We're good. We're very good here. Isn't this a job for the subs? Heinrich gets a big fat buff. I like it. Agenda gets saved. And we're dealing single target DPS. Hit him for 500, which isn't bad at all. Pascal just uh, heals himself, and I think desperate measures. Oh no, that was the wrong one. 
Ah, that was giving everybody AP. I thought it was uh, the measure that lets everybody shoot. But that was not the case. Alright, small bits of damage here and there. I think we're still fine. Okay, that was a little bit more damage. To be fair, everybody requires healing, and that's good. Um, oh yeah, that's a good one. Fantastic. Good, here we go. Oh, 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 Heinrichs. Heinrichs, my man. What have you done? That was fantastic. Just killed four of them. Like it's no one's bu uh, no man's business. And whilst we're at it, this will trigger a couple of AOs. Everybody here is taunted. Yep. Here we go. Oh, it's already over. Oh, we were doing so well. Man, this group is busted. Busted to the core. <laughs> oh, we were so strong. And and uh, the sword in particular is crazy. Emperor sword, that is. Embrace true power. That was a nasty but very well done fight. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Good end boss fight. Really, really good one. Uh, a little bit low rate of fire. I think what I will do here is uh, we might test this boulder here. It's a little bit less damage but has twice uh, the rate of fire. And we got heretical blasphemous boulder he had that he hasn't had a chance um that's a nice boulder i must say rate of fire is good damage is fantastic and heretic uh, staff successful hit all of the wielders allies gain plus five damage against the target after the wielder deals damage with crozius each of the wielders allies performs oh, that's a really good weapon Holy smokes, that's a good weapon. But we're not playing a heretical uh, team. Let's seize the opportunity. All right, let me level up our characters. All right, good. Let's report completion here. Hello, can anyone hear me? We read you, strike team. This is a lift control. Report your status. Urlon is dead. Acknowledge strike team beginning the extraction and priority cargo. <laughs> we did it. That was a fun fight.
A fine victory, Psyche, and they will tell sagas about uh, the day that the contemptible Uralon fell. The cock priest should offer you a fine cup of miot for saving the prayer world. If you hadn't, Uralon would have uh, bathed them in hundredfolds more of blood. As for you ever, Ulfur Thunderlung, you have proven yourself. The Stormbiters will tell about your feet and your roaring song. I think you're Torbald. You and your brothers have fought well. You did the wolves proud. I will be. Uh, it will be a joy to share a cup with you at the victory feast, Ironhide. How's your pack, Thorbald? How are the losses? Several of my brothers will carry on fighting their battles in the Allfather's host. The rest has survived. We've uh, shed much blood, but the uh, wolf's hide is tough and the spirit is stubborn. I see you and Ulfa have worked through your queries. It doesn't become a noble warrior to bark at his battle comrade after a good fight. Ulfa Thunderlong has proven that the spirit of the baleful howl is still alive and strong. Then let the ravens fly where he walked and let them tear at the blood harvest left in his wake. May a black mind guide you through the black uh, of the night, Ehrenheit. Know that your pack calls the bayful howl will always answer. Alright, what's hidden down there was the treasure that Ulan was after. I don't know, Kalkasar Kells did not allow anyone into the hidden arsenals. We could, uh, all we could see is uh, dragging crates up to the surface. This is the old age way. We fight and they sweep up the spoils. We brought these uh, from below. For all I know, it is Kerls that has killed them to the several lips. You see signs of violence on the two women's bodies, uh, but their porcelain white skin proven without a doubt that they are dead. Uh, their hands are clutched together in a death grip. Ah, the sweet scent of rotten meat prickled my nostrils, but if it is not the foreign bodies I smell, uh, it's the hands of the Inquisitor's minions. This is what my instinct tells me too, uh, says Torbald. My hearts have uh, never had a strong faith in Kalkasar's words before. But now, whatever phantom trust I had is scattered into smoke. We must ask questions and get answers by force, if it's the way that it has to be. Both wolves affirm the last words with energetic and murmurous nods. Heinrichs cast a grim glance on the mighty warriors, but does not contradict them, either out of agreement or doubt uh, that uh, his survival were uh, he to raise an objection. Let's examine the tech priest's bodies. Something strange occurred on the two women's augments. It's likely to begin grow inside their flesh, spreading webs of metal around them. After taking a closer look, you realize that the augments seem to have begun mutating, developing new forms and functions not envisioned by their creators. It seems probable that this is what caused their demise. Suddenly, you hear a click inside of the tech priest's body, and her eyes open. A spasm shakes the gaunt limbs, making Torvald clutch his weapon. Her lips twist into a crooked line, forcing two words. The joke! Um... Curious. Get me a healer, says Torvald. We have a heavily wounded here. Reconstruction impossible. The woman's whisper is barely audible, but weak. A voice that is coming from her pale lips still sounds more alive than mechanical hiss of the voice. The shelter has fallen. The maimed hunter comes. Cessation of vital functions inevitable. Her eyes momentarily roll back. Uh, but then her metallic crick inside of her chest brings her back to consciousness. Reading the unit's uh, nostrotrophic uh, signature, no evidence of corruption registered in the algorithms, detecting substantial logical disruptions within the augments, threat level low. There is not a single wound upon her white skin. There is no doubt that she will soon perish. The augments are failing as if they were sabotaged by an atropic influence. For a moment you consider a sign of the tech blight, but you re uh, refute the thought. What you are witnessing is not decay, but transformation. Matter from the tech priest's true flesh uh, is made. Who are you? Mago Saxomia Heunemann. This is my identifier. Initiating interrogation procedure is what Pascal says. 
You're not the first servant of the Omnissiah uh, that we met who goes by that name. You have found yourself a center of a tangle of paradoxiality. Um, Pascal, go ahead and uh, interrogate them. Our identifiers are identical, said the reason for the duplication. A portent left by the Messiah, cock pattern in which the righteous may see the Dios Mechanicus. I seek Archmage's Armanet, where is he? The Messiah of discontinuing was cancelled. The maimed hunter? What's the unit's status and parameters? Coming, conceal, proceed with caution for the hunter sees the Messiah's signs. Pascal, what have you learned? The unit lacks clear answers, her cognitive abilities have been damaged, but analytical data suggests a higher priority to identify uh, being an exact match. It is a consequence of malicious falsification. It is more akin to an act of purposeful direction. Esteemed level of threat to the Archmage's Amarnath increased. The unit identified uh, as the main hunter is now regarded the most probable source of danger. Can you speak more plainly? Are my words obscure? That is regrettable. Processing becomes difficult when you have only half of your mind. Certain notions, data logical instruments were left less functional. How do you know about armament? I was a disciple of the messiahs of discontinuation. Uh, when he was laid low, I found myself here. I hid from reckoning. I reached out uh, to the omnissiah's wisdom and pondered and considered. Logic revealed much to me even in here in my prison. The cycle will be discontinued, S uh, sister. Hope is a logical brother. All right, Ponder the deck uh, priest was uh, uh, she her sis uh, your sister. She was me. A phenomenon of flesh divided me into two identical bodies of birth. The Omnissiah's wisdom let me overcome this uh, psychological flaw by braiding back into separate minds. It was first unificate in the fleet. Now this half of me is dead. The rest of my mind is fading. The sympathic principle is insurmountable. Creation of unificates is a dangerous knowledge that has long been uh, denounced by many procedures not blessed by the Omnissiah. It is uh, based not on the direct prototype envisioned by the precursors, merely on loosely connecting technologies. Knowledge will not have uh, the capacity to be absolute until coming from the Omnissiah. We do not know such pre-technology, but we can claim with certainty that it never existed. And do you remember the stories about the Gemnicrats, is what Pascal is saying. The twin magi who joined the minds of the devotion uh, to Mars. I remember proponents of the right to create unicates uh, based their defense on this momentous uh, precedent. Uh, what happened to you? The chapel was attacked. The preservation protocol commanded me to hide within the inner artefacticum and block all outside access. Prolonged presence in the close proximity of the object was prohibited by the algorithm, but preservation protocol had a higher priority. The object affected me. I resisted. Resistance led to structural change. How exactly did the object affect you? Difficult thing to explain, explain to a layman. Metamorphosis phenomena occurred. On the object's vicinity, sacred technology and even ordinary plasteel start to behave willfully, shifting, restructuring, and after their fundamental at alters their fundamental attributes, imagine yourself gazing upon a surface of water uh, that uh, was disturbed by a stone an era ago. The ripples never stop coming. That is what it felt like. The object propagated echoes of change. A true flash has betrayed her and become heavy burden of metal within her body. Something that not all of the Om uh, that uh, that is not of the Omnissiah's design. Something devoid of function. You are in the need of help. Attempts to slow down the degradation process are irrational, for they only prolong my suffering. Uh, suffering. I wish to cease to be. Brother, take my thoughts. I keep. Uh, I keep them. Keep them now. Knowledge will not fall into oblivion. Taking great care of the ruined text priest features, Pascal's reventally extracts the neural cogiator from her skull, then does the same to her sister. The quest for knowledge is the Omnisire's mission to us.
honor the fallen tech priest. Good, and now we need to demand answers from good old Kalasar because he currently has been uh, planning this absolute shit show here. So needless to say that no one is happy about how that uh, worked out. And we're going to have a good conversation with him, but all of that is going to happen potentially in one of the next episodes. For now, I think we're Gucci and we're leaving it uh, as is. Thank you a lot for uh, watching and see you all in the next episodes. Bye bye.